Today, we will learn how to implement Moto Admin in our Rails application. Moto Admin is a low-code admin panel and business intelligence Rails engine. There is very little DSLs, DSL re configuration required for the UI. So we will learn how to create our admin panels using this gem. To begin, we will first create our blank Rails application, which I have done here. And then we will also simply add this to our gem file, our gem Moto Admin. We'll go to our gem file. And you can simply uh, let's just paste it here, and then we can run bundle. This will install the gem for us, and then we can go ahead and simply let's just generate some scaffold. So say scaffold for article with title and content of type text. And also generate another scaffold. We'll say order, and let's say it has an order. Let's say order number of type integer, and order name of type text. We can create that scaffold. And let's also add device to this. So we'll actually create a model that's hooked up to a user model so we can see how we can manage our users and our models that have a relationship with each other using this new admin panel that we are going to install. So now that we have added device, we can also simply copy this for Rails admin for the Rails motor to install. So if you come here and we simply paste this in, it will run the installer and we'll run our DB migrate and there we go we can see it has created if we look here you can see it created a migration for us here and it also mounted our path here it mounted our engine if we head over to our route and we can see we have this motor admin here so if we start up our server and we head over to this particular route or rather particular path in our browser this would be where we will locate our admin panel. So if we look at the installation instructions for device, and if we scroll down, you can see we have bundle add device. And so we can also copy this here. We also generate device install. And now that we have done that, it's given us some installation instructions. We'll simply copy this and paste it in development.rb all the way at the bottom and then it also tells us that we should have a root path so if we head over to our routes we can just call this we can make this our root path here this articles index page and now that we have done that we can generate our user using rails generate device user There we go, we have generated our user, and now we can run, rather let's just create another scaffold. Here we'll just call this blog, and we'll say it has a title, and it has content of type text, and it is related to user with references. I would not say Rails, I should have said Rails generate scaffold. There we go, and now you can run Rails DB Migrate. So now that we have all of this set up, we can now start up our server. And now that we have our server up and running, if we head over to here, and this is our root path that we set, so we can carry out our CRUD actions the normal way that we want to. If we head over to orders, we can do the same thing. We can enter whatever random information we want. So we have all of this set up. If we head over to motor admin, which is what we set as the path for our motor admin engine, 
you can see we are greeted to the dashboard of the gem that we have added the engine that we have added here so what we can do is you can see we have our articles we have our blogs we have our orders we have our users so if we click on articles you can see we can the answer code that we created here if we want to add a new article we can come here we can enter our information we give the we are given the options to cancel save and create or save so if you click on save and create new we'll be allowed to also create new information we can see it also adds it here and we can click on ok here if we go to our orders we can see the first one that we added here and we can enter whatever we want if i try to enter text right here it doesn't work here so our order name and that's because we set this to be an integer so we can see there's some form of validation going on there and same here we can create our users from here so if we say user one at gmail.com and we set our password and click on save there we go we have our first user set up here so we can test this out here you can open up a new private window and we can go from local host to user sign up or the sign in and we had user one at gmail.com so if you enter our password there we go we have signed in successfully we have signed in successfully then if you come to our blogs you can see we are able to create our blogs here you can select a user you can add our title and can add our content and there we go so if we head over to our user here if we head over to our user here we can see there's no way for us to create our new blogs from our user and that is because if we head over to our user model we have not updated here to have a relationship with our blog so a user can have many rather a user has many blogs we can save this and if you look at our blog you can see it belongs to user so if we refresh this there we go you can see now we have blogs here you can click on it so if you want to add a blog for our user you can do it right from here there we go so if you wanted to delete it you can come here rather you can come here directly and click on re you can click on remove and it'll ask us to do if we want to go continue with our action here and there we go so if we added some validations here for instance for our blog if we say validate validates if you want to what did we call it for our blog we called it title so if you want to validate the title and want it to be always present for it to be valid we can save this if we refresh this here and we try to create a title you can see it has this asterisk here meaning that this is required same thing for the user so we select our user if we leave this blank we say title is required so this is one way we can add validations to our models and is reflected in our admin panel so this is a brief overview of motor admin it's similar to rails admin it gives us the same functions as it and it requires a little less code to use